gamers! It's Vicky, and welcome to a spooky Halloween tutorial. Today, we're going to be making a candy Minecraft jack-o'-lantern. I just designed this pattern for you guys today on candypatterns.com. There will be a link in the description down below, but also I can show it to you real quick. So this is what the pattern looks like. And now let's talk about supplies. So this project uses a total of 238 beads. I'm going to be using 77 dark orange, then 90 of this brighter orange, 27 brown, 25 glow-in-the-dark yellow, and 19 glow-in-the-dark white. We're also going to need a pair of scissors. These are new, limited edition. Ooh. <laughs> And also, I'm going to be using my Stretch Magic 0.7mm clear elastic cord. Um, because I'm just making a panel, it doesn't need to be that stretchy. I'm probably going to use like 15 feet of that string. Not entirely certain because I've never actually made this pattern before. This is going to be my first time making it together with you guys. So to start with, you're going to want to cut yourself a piece of a string. Um... I am going to estimate that it'll take 15 feet of string to make this, so if you want to go ahead and start out with that much, you can. Personally, I'm just going to start with 5 feet and add more when I run out. There is a tutorial on how to add string on my channel. Uh, that's just how I prefer to do it because it makes the string more manageable for me. So anyways, we're going to be using the Odd Peyote Stitch today, and um, if you're not very experienced with that stitch, you can try it out using my odd peyote stitch cuff tutorial before you try like a patterned item. But if you feel like you're ready for a patterned item, let's go ahead and make the uh, jack-o'-lantern. Let's start out by making the base, which I'm going to make as the very bottom of the pumpkin. So I'm going to start by putting one dark orange on each side of the string. And then I'm going to hold the two ends together and put just one dark orange on. Then I'll put on a bright orange on one end and a dark orange on the other end. Put the two ends together and put on just one dark orange. Then a dark orange on each end. Put the two ends together. Put on another dark orange, and here we go with another bright orange, then a dark orange on the other side. Put the two ends together, and a dark orange, then dark orange on each end. Put the ends together, and put on a dark orange. And a bright orange on one side, and a dark orange on the other side. My bead rolled away. <laughs> there we go. Put the two ends together, and one dark orange. Gonna pull the beads down a little bit so I have more room to add beads. Okay. And a dark orange on each side. Put the two ends together. Put on one dark orange. Then a bright orange on one side. And a dark orange on the other. Put the two ends together. Put on one dark orange. And then one dark orange on each side. And this should be the base. I'm going to pull all the beads towards the middle of the folded in half string. And then pull on each group of two beads to tighten everything. And 
and have to do that a couple of times. And now before I tie this off, I'm going to want to just compare this base piece to the very bottom of the pattern. And it should be 17 beads across. And there should be four bright orange beads on there. And now I am just tying this off. I'm going to give it a triple knot and firmly tug on the string. Be careful if you're using a clear elastic. Um, they snap kind of easier than the other kinds of elastic. So now the base is done. And we can build up. And, um... You're going to want the bright orange beads to be facing towards the top. Um, it's okay if they're not. Like, you can just flip it like that. Um, sorry if these are hard to see on camera. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put my string, just one of them, uh, through the rightmost bead <laughs> that's facing towards the top of the pumpkin. I'm trying this directional thing. People have been asking me for directions. Uh, please be patient. I'm not good with them. Uh, <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna put a bright orange bead on my string. And then put my string through this next bright orange bead that's facing towards the top. Alright. And we're gonna go in with another bright orange bead. Here we go. Putting the string through the next dark orange bead that's popped up. And then what is next? Ooh, next is a yellow bead. I'm using glow in the dark. So it'll look extra cool with the lights off. Then you'll put the string through the next bright orange bead. Next is another bright orange. Putting the string through the next dark orange bead that's popped up. Another bright orange bead. And I'm putting my string through the next bright orange. All right. Next is another bright orange bead. And I'm going to put my string through the next dark orange that has popped up. And next we get to add a dark brown. And then put the string through the next bright orange. Okay, and next, a bright orange. And I'm going to put my string through the top uh, leftmost bead. <laughs> like, which way's left? I'm trying, guys. This is a good brain exercise for me. The top leftmost bead. Bam. Okay, so there's the first row done. Now we've got to go back to the right side and get that other string. I'm going to take that string and put Place it through the bottom rightmost bead. Going towards the inside. Okay, and then I'm going to turn around and put it through the top rightmost bead. Um, going towards the outside. So I can get that string where I want it to be. So it kind of just went from here to here to here, and now it's coming out that way. Um, so now we can use that one. Because on peyote stitch requires us to have two ends of string. Um, unless you want to be doing like square stitches on the side, which I don't feel like doing. <laughs> But you can also do it that way. 
All right, so here I'm taking my right string and I'm gonna add a dark orange bead. Put my string through this next bright orange bead. Here we go. Okay, next is a bright orange bead. And then I'll put the string through the next bright orange bead that's popped up here. Next is a dark orange bead. And then you can put the string through the next yellow. Just a tip here, after every three beads, I usually tug on my string like this to keep everything nice and tight. Um, and that'll help with like the stitches being like nice and straight. You want to tighten it a lot, like frequently. Um, once again, be careful if you have this clear elastic, it does snap rather easily. Um, that's why I don't use it for bracelets. <laughs> but for panels, it's all right. Um, next, I'll be adding a glow-in-the-dark yellow bead and putting my string through the next bright orange that's popped up. All right. Next is a dark orange. And I'll put my string through the next bead that's popped up. Next is another glow-in-the-dark yellow. Put the string through the next popped-up bead. And then another glow-in-the-dark yellow. Put the string through the next popped-up bead. Remember to tug on the string every few beads to make sure everything's nice and tight. Next is a bright orange. Then I'll put the string through the next bead that's popped up. Then I'm going to add a dark orange bead to this same string. And now this is where I'm going to switch to the string that's under it. So like the bottom string. And I'm going to put that string through the dark orange bead that I just added on. Going towards the right side of the pumpkin. Um, that should hold on the edge bead. Okay, what's next? What's next? Next is a bright orange bead. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh, it fell. <laughs> so this row is going to go from left to right. A uh, bright orange. And a brown. Then bright orange again. And a glow-in-the-dark yellow. Another glow-in-the-dark yellow. Oh yes, and then uh, two more glow-in-the-dark yellow. <laughs> so that was, that was four glow-in-the-dark yellow in a row. Um, and then we're going to end this row with a bright orange. All right, next, I'm going to switch back to my left string. I'm going to put on a dark orange. Then a brown. A glow yellow. A glow white. Then a dark orange.
another glow white. Then two glow yellow. To finish off the row, a dark orange. And then I'm going to grab the bottom string and put it through that same dark orange bead going towards the inside of the pumpkin. That holds the edge bead on. So starting from the right side of the pattern, we're going to go with a bright orange, then a glow yellow, then four glow white. And a glow yellow. And then a bright orange. Then I'm going to switch to the right string. Add a dark orange. And a bright orange. A glow in the dark yellow. Three glow white. A glow yellow. A brown. And the last bead will be a dark orange. I'm going to switch to the bottom string and put it through that same dark orange going towards the right next I'll add a bright orange then a brown And then three more brown. Then a glow yellow. And another brown. Then a bright orange. Then I'm going to switch to the left string and add on a dark orange. Then a bright orange.
and five brown. Then next, I will add a bright orange and a dark orange at the very end. Then I'll switch to the bottom string and place it back through the same dark orange bead going towards the inside. Now starting from the right and moving towards the left, we're going to add a bright orange bead. Wow, and then, okay, the rest of this row is also bright orange, so just put seven more bright orange. My string got kind of short, so I added some more. Um, there's a tutorial down below if you're doing it the same way as me on how to add the string. to switch back to the string on the right side add on a dark orange then a bright orange a dark orange And a bright orange. And this whole row is just kind of like uh, going back and forth. Dark, bright, dark, bright. So here goes a dark one. Then a bright one. Then a dark orange. And a bright orange. And the last bead will be a dark orange. And then I'll switch to the bottom string. And put that one back through the bead I just added. Going towards the right side. Next, let's add on a bright orange. And this row is just going to be bright orange all the way across.
All right. And I'm going to add some string to my string on the left side here and then start using that one. Okay, so starting from the left side, the first bead is dark orange. Then light orange, and this row will just alternate dark orange, light orange, dark orange, light orange, all the way across. So dark. Then bright. Dark. Bright. Then dark. Then bright. And the last bead on this row will be a dark orange. And grab the bottom string and place it through that last bead going towards the left side. Okay. So from right to left. We're going to do five bright orange beads. Then one glow white. And then two bright orange. Then I'm going to switch to the right string and add a dark orange. Then a bright orange. Then a glow white. A bright orange, a dark orange, oh gosh, <laughs> I dropped one in my lap, then two glow whites. And then a bright orange. The last bead will be dark orange. And I'll switch to the bottom string. Put it through the same bead I just added. Going towards the right side. And we can add a bright orange. Then a brown. And then a glow white. Then 
to bright orange. Then to glow white. And a bright orange. Then I'll switch to the left string and add a dark orange. Then a bright orange. Then glow yellow. A glow white. A dark orange. Then a brown. A glow white. A glow yellow. And then a dark orange. And I'll switch to the bottom string. And put that through the same bead I just added. Going towards the left side. Then add on a bright orange. Then a glow yellow. Then a glow white. Next is two bright orange. Then a glow yellow. A brown. And a bright orange. And I'm going to switch to the right string. Add a dark orange. And a brown. A glow yellow. Another brown. Dark orange. Then a glow yellow. Another glow yellow. A bright orange next. And lastly, a dark orange. And switch to the bottom string. And place that string through the same bead, going towards the right side. And add a bright orange. Brown. Glow yellow. Two bright orange. Glow. <laughs> I just dropped one.
here we'll put a glow yellow then a brown and a bright orange then I'll switch to the left string add a dark orange a bright orange two brown A dark orange two more brown a bright orange and lastly a dark orange switch to the bottom string and place that string through the same bead towards the left. Next will be two bright orange. A brown. Two bright orange. A brown. And then two bright orange. Switching to the right string and I'll put on a dark orange. Then a bright orange. And for the rest of the row, just alternate back and forth. Dark and then bright. Dark and then bright. You know, it kind of looks like an abomination, but that's what Minecraft jack-o'-lanterns look like. <laughs> it looks very scared and very confused about being a jack-o'-lantern. Alright, so I'm adding this last dark orange to this row. I'm going to switch to the bottom string and put it through that bead going towards the right. And this row is just going to be bright orange beads all the way across. Gonna be adding a bit more string here. It looks like 15 feet wasn't a bad estimate. Pretty close to getting there. <laughs> Alright, I'll we'll finish up this all bright orange row. Oh 
almost done. Now I'm going to switch to the left string and add on this row, everything is going to be dark orange. Now I will switch to the bottom string, place it through that same bead going towards the left. And on this row, I'm also going to add all dark orange. And this is the last row. Alright, so now I've got to get these <laughs> strings uh, near each other so I can tie this. Okay, I think maybe I'll just have them like meet in the middle or something. So I'm going to take my left string and thread it through um, the next six beads um, going towards the inside. I'm not going to add any beads though, just putting the string through. Um, because I want to make my strings meet up in the middle and then um, tie it off that way. I guess I counted wrong. That's already been six beads. Okay, seven beads. <laughs> so now the string is coming out of this bead. And then I'm going to go and take the right string. And thread it through. Eight beads going towards the left side. So it should come out right next to my other string. So I can just then tie them together. There we go. So now the strings are coming out next to each other. Uh, one from here and one from here. And I'm going to give it like a, a four knots. I could, could 
quadruple? A quadruple knot? Uh, make sure you tug on the ends of the string so the knot will be nice and tight. And um, once again, careful if you're using clear elastic. It is easier to break it when you're doing this. Now it's tied off. And I can cut off the end. Oh my gosh, now I have a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern of my very own in my house. <laughs> I kind of want to make a 3D one one day, but um, I only had enough to make this panel right now. So that's what we made. Um, I thought it'd be really cool if I made the eyes and mouth glow in the dark. So like, it looks extra cool in the dark. <laughs> um, I'll probably put this one on a necklace. Um, anyways, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching my video. Um, I hope you had fun making yourself a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern out of candy. <laughs> Until next time, y'all. Peace, love, unity, and respect.